All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechach the by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And as you see on the screen, this is all scripture, you know? And this is just Esau trying to control the narrative because they know that there is, you know, other forces in this world, which we know as the angels. And we also know them as the chariots of the Lord. But as Esau being who he is, he's going to try to control the narrative. So I'm going to show you a series of videos and get the scriptures to back it up. The, the elect cannot be deceived by this it off they could definitely pull it off right now they have the technology to mimic the form fit and function of extraterrestrial ufos they have the technology absolutely it's seamless and you can never tell the difference if they do have a false flag invasion they're going to use one of these this is the hudson valley boomerang this is 1982 to 1989 over 25,000 eyewitnesses reported this craft they can use these saucers the cigars the pyramids the triangles as a united coalition and that's how they're, they're going to do it we're talking about 150 to 172 feet across for the wingspan which is the identical wingspan of the b2 stealth bomber so the question we need to ask is was some of that 22.4 billion used on the b2 poured into this program it's the exact same time frame when they power up and when they accelerate um, it looks like a spark off a grinding wheel, and you could never know the difference. So if they wanted to hoax an alien invasion, they could do it, and they could do it in a way that's 100% believable. Now, the next video is going to go in to the technology. So basically, it's going to give some details. Well, the point is, how can they project holograms of that size? Hear that, and therein lies the problem, because people are, uh, when you see hologram, they're thinking of a Walt Disney little pixie dancing around in a little um, um, darkness area. Uh, that's all they know about holograms. They don't know that 20 years ago, uh, we could project a hologram uh, with uh, heat, uh, noise, light, speed, anything we wanted, anywhere. And uh, we use that on. He said that we use that on 9 11. All right. That was a hologram that you were seeing because we all know what happened with 9 11 for the ones who's in the know. They use explosives to knock down that building. But as you see, using heat. Matter of fact, let's go back. Uh, noise, light, speed, a hologram uh, with uh, heat. Uh, noise, light, speed, anything we wanted, anywhere. And uh, <clears throat> we use that on uh, the pro Right now, the television industry is ready uh, to bring out uh, television uh, quality programs that you could put right on your desk. And you have a little, uh, a little thing here. And you can raise it up like this. I mean, you can enlarge it this type of technology on football games um like in the halftime show it looked like a um a whale jumping out of the ocean in the sky so yeah they they got this and you know as the scriptures i'm gonna get to back it up and yahweh shai warned us of this now it's so beautiful when the lord you know gave the prophets the holy spirit to see things plainly and to bring it out plainly because the scriptures that i'm going to get you're going to be like wow this really connects and you know yahweh shai told us two thousand years ago uh you can bring it down to small you can move it over there you can move it over there wherever you want and it looks just like there and you can stand well the point is how can they project a global event will alter the course of mankind's future the world will stand witness to a massive alien invasion. Thousands of projected holographic alien warships will blanket the skies, sending people into a global panic. Real military crafts within the holograms will inflict actual damage to the surrounding areas to sell the gimmick. As a result of the ensuing human chaos, a one world government will immediately form without any resistance from the people. They will be the new world order. Which 
just, you know, how they deal order out of chaos. Cause you got to imagine. So you see all these so-called UFOs in the sky. All right. And as this man is talking about within the hologram, you're really going to have vehicles inside of there shooting direct energy, you know, um, weapons. I shouldn't have said that, but, um, the do the do. Okay. But, um, yeah. So, and imagine people are going to be so scared. They're going to be looking to the government for help and the government already going to have a solution for you. Okay. Once this happens, we as a people will be doomed to enslavement and accelerated depopulation. With that, you see that the, the C hip said, the only hope for human salvation is to acquire and spread the knowledge of these activities and agendas. Resist, retaliate, and conquer this opposing enemy. The time is now, as humanity is rapidly approaching its final days. Four. A global event will al a global event will alter the So before we get into what Yahweh said, let's get into what the the Lord put the spirit on Paul to say, the apostle Paul. So the reason that he's able to do this, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs and lying wonders. OK, so, you know, the Lord warned us about this. And as we get the scriptures, oops. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Hamashiachs, which false anointed, false prophets, and shall so show great signs and wonders. That's a great sign and wonder when they try to pull this off. All right. Using holograms that really look like, uh, you know, so-called UFOs. And then actually, you know, shooting the, the, the do down. You know, so and wonders in so much that if it were possible, which is not, they should deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. See, how shall I telling you? He told us. OK, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert. Go now forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. because You already know they're going to try to, you know, within the so-called fake alien invasion. You already know you're going to have people talking about. Oh, I saw this. I saw that, you know. Wherefore, if oh, for as lightning coming out of the east and shine up even to the west, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Because also they know, talking about the powers that be, the ones who are behind the scenes, the ones who you never see, the ones who control this whole operation. They know about the, the chariots of the Lord. But they're presenting it to you like they're aliens because they want to control the narrative. And remember the speech Ronald Reagan gave, I want to say in the uh, 60s, he said that, you know, we, we should all come together to basically fight the outside force, put our put our differences aside, you know. So why you think that and then when you go into the scriptures in um, Revelation, let's get that real quick. And there was war in heaven. Michael, his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels. So to put it in layman's terms, this is why they have the sixth branch of the military, which is called the Space Force. What the hell you need a Space Force for? This is why, because they know about the Lord. They know about the chariots and they so stupid. But the Lord have put that spirit on them. They really think they can fight against it. And it said, and prevailed not. See, he's going to lose. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven because he's going into captivity. And after he served his captivity, he's done, son. All right. It said that he should be cut off forever. That's what it says in Obadiah 1 and 10. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. And he was cast into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. So now let's go back. Verse 27 again, for as lightning coming out of the east and shine of even unto the west, so shall also the son of man come. All right, because he's coming from the east to the west. He's gathering his elect from the four winds of the earth 
and the chariot is going to be as big as the earth. It's going to cover the whole sky. All right. For wheresoever the carcass is, the ain't that uh, there will the eagles be gathered together. Because remember, the Lord, when he comes back, it's going to be a resurrection. Some are going to be resurrected unto life. Some are going to be resurrected unto damnation. That's what a carcass is. A carcass is a dead body. All right. So also, if you ain't seeing no resurrection, that ain't the Lord. If you ain't, if, and here's the thing, we're warning you about these things. Don't allow these things to catch you off guard. We're going to be seeing some crazy stuff, man. It's just getting started out here, you know? But then, just to show you something. Immediately, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be dark and the moon shall not give her light. The stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. So, immediately after all these things happen, all hell going to break loose. Civil War, World War Three is going to be at its height. Eventually, missiles going to come over here, you know, shake the heavens, man. So, hey, just wanted to show you that it's pr everything is in the scriptures, man. Everything is in the scriptures. This devil have been exposed. Matter of fact, let's end it on this. For nothing is secret that should not be made manifest, neither anything hid that should not be known and come abroad. Look how all the information that we've been getting over the years. Esau have been made bare, as I say in Jeremiah 49 and 10. He cannot hide himself. All right. He's become, you know, a totten proverb to the world. Everybody's looking at him for the devil that he is. So all praises to Yahweh, Shemal, Vashai and Shalom.